Good afternoon. Welcome, Ayush. Welcome, Robin. Thank you. Delighted to, to be with you today at the Mobile World Congress. Maybe what we'll do is um, we'll, we'll start off, Ayush, with you and uh, talk about some of the observations that you've seen at MWC. The energy here is clearly palpable. Um, just a few words from you in terms of what you've observed and what some of your top uh, thoughts and takeaway are um, so far. Yes, sure. Thank you for inviting me here, first and foremost. Um, MWC just been two days into the event, but we have seen a lot of uh, development on AI uh, in the context of not just telecom, but also in the larger context of IT automation. Consolidation of 5G technology and the march towards 5G advanced, uh, that is also pretty much evident, and also the role of cloud, mm -hmm. both on-prem and also the public cloud for hosting applications, especially AI-enabled applications. So in these two days, these are the general impressions, but I believe there is a lot of stuff that I've still got to see, so just looking forward. Absolutely, congratulations on all the awards that uh, Reliance has, has received. Kudos Thank to you, you and the team. Thank you. Um, Robin, anything to add in terms of your observations? Oh, absolutely, it's, an, it's a very exciting one. It's been almost a decade I've been coming here every year, and this by far is the most uh, high energy, high impact event when it comes to all of the work that has been happening. I also want to take the opportunity to thank Ayush for your partnership and, and the work that we have been doing within the 5G space. The key observations I would say is the last few years was about is it going to happen, the AI adoption? How is it going to happen? And now it's about when is it going to happen? How fast can we move and, and how can we get to that accelerated point of view on uh, getting autonomous networks, transforming customer care environments for telecom operators, and then having uh, the 5G SA rollout acceleration across the globe uh, in, in developing countries, as well as in a lot of countries where there is an opportunity uh, to, to accelerate this, this momentum. And uh, the third thing that uh, stands out is the, the agentic workflows, the entire investment within artificial intelligence and generative AI for new uh, technologies, the new set of technologies, new addressable markets opening up to monetize the network investments of operators, whether it is a spectrum investments or it is the rollouts that have happened over the last five years, mm -hmm. is, is uh, now coming to fruition as well. So those uh, are my key takeaways. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, thank you for that. I, I, I agree. I think there is a whole lot of potential and we're starting to see the actual operationalization, the rubber hitting the road on some of these advanced technologies, right? And that's a, um, a great kind of opener to um, the partnership that we're talking about between Reliance and, and AWS. Um, Ayush, perhaps so you could share a little bit about how Geo Platforms is 5G core, which is now um, available with, with AWS, um, how that can actually make a difference for telecom operators around the world and how you think it can, um, it can really help them jumpstart their ambitions. Absolutely, so Geo Platforms uh, decided to start with 5G standalone. We skipped the non-standalone transition path. Mm -hmm. And in the journey of implementing 5G in India for Reliance Geo, we created a highly scalable platform which was cloud native from day zero, mm -hmm. with no baggage of legacy, but full interoperability and backwards integration with existing 4G networks. Mm -hmm. So this particular um, product line that we have also tested now thoroughly with AWS, it is a battle tested product line we are running more than 180 million uh, 5G SA customers on it today, more than 5 million FWI homes on it. Mm. And we have seen all kinds of scenarios in a network of this scale uh, that has really hardened and battle tested our software. Mm. And we are confident that along with a cloud native fabric like AWS, uh, we can not only fulfill the requirements of global carriers using this product, but we can also open up innovations in Gen AI, which also are now part of our particular 5G core product line. And uh, that can really unlock a lot of value and accelerate the path to 5G SA adoption to this point. So I think uh, we are pretty well positioned in that regard. Robin, uh in a partnership, obviously, um, as Ayush pointed out, this is now available on AWS, it's been battle tested. Could you share a little bit more about how AWS's global infrastructure helps um, telecom operators to, uh, to scale? Absolutely. 25 plus regions uh, is what AWS offers globally. We have 40 plus uh, local zones that we have uh, deployed as well. And each region for us is two or more availability zones. 
each availability zone is to our more data centers. And if you think about the level of resilience and high availability that infrastructure brings, that's pretty unique. When you take Reliance Team's uh, core network and the entire platform that they have deployed on top of AWS, they are in a position to offer not just the core control plane, the management plane, the entire uh, user plane across the regions, our edge infrastructure, our latest edge announcement plays a role in that, and provides that ubiquitous control across these locations globally. In addition to that, the platform is integrated into the same AWS services that our customers have used, uh, such as the management monitoring uh, services, the things like uh, CI/CD platforms, the things that, that are important for our customers for analytics of the network congestion and traffic management, artificial intelligence platform integration like Ayush mentioned. These provide a unique set of capabilities for customers to spin up networks at a pace that was unknown, right? meaning that was not possible before without large CapEx investments. And that's something that we bring together as our global uh, partnership. Ayush, we spoke about um, the modular nature of the, the Geo Platform's 5G core. One of the things that most operators are looking to do, really, is to find a way to monetize networks, right? Um, could you tell me a little bit more about how the network slicing capabilities that you bring to bear allow telecom operators to execute that even faster than they could before with your software? Absolutely. So, see, network slicing has been a topic um, which has been around for a long time in the context of 5G. Uh, it promised a lot of transformations for operators. Uh, but when we looked at network slicing, we looked at some of the practical impediments that were, that were there in the traditional network architectures. So we came up with a unique architecture of network slicing orchestration, which is closely linked with the provisioning flow as well as with the network. Mm -hmm. Because when you talk about a 5G core, you may have hundreds of UPFs on an Amazon outpost kind of an edge location. You may have AMFs and SMFs also across the edge locations. But a slice has to be configured all across the network. So this problem of having a slice to be seamlessly defined on the fly across multiple network clusters, across geographical locations. This is the problem that we attacked first. Mm. And today with this particular orchestration requirement and with this capability, we are the only ones who are running six commercial network slices in the production network today. Mm -hmm. So uh, network slicing, uh, one aspect is network facing aspect, and the other aspect is monetization facing. Mm -hmm. Because every slice has to be monitored, it has to be metered, and it has to be bundled along with, for example, an enterprise plan. Mm -hmm. It has to provide analytics to the customers so that the consumers actually see the value of that network slice. So the entire BSS aspect has also been integrated with our network slicing architecture. So we believe that is a pretty unique and very practical proposition beyond just the keywords, beyond just the hype. Absolutely love that. Uh, you know, the rubber really hitting the road there because network slicing is easy to say, but the amount of complexity there below, what I'm hearing is that you've abstracted it yes. and you've battle tested it in your own network and now it's available to the world. Absolutely. It's like a blueprint which is available for all to use. Fantastic. And this is exactly the kind of innovation that we love to scale uh, with our partners. Yeah. Um, monetization, Robin, every single telecom operator we speak to loves monetization. We've just heard from Ayush, the, the nature of the services that can be offered now. Um, tell us a little bit more about how you think operators can unlock new revenue streams yeah. with this joint proposition. Absolutely, this is the this is heart of, of MWC conversations. Probably every single one of them, uh, operators is looking to take their spectrum investments, their rollout investments, figure out how they can, can uh, sweat the assets that they have and, and get the most value out of it. Uh, we have worked with many customers, whether it is the shipping industry in, in a private network setup or in a, in a setup of, of a manufacturing automotive industry. We have seen so many of our customers looking for use cases that, are, that require specific quality of service, specific APIs uh, in terms of human density, in terms of uh, network qualification as well as the, the congestion on the network to make sure that the class of service they are expecting for uh, their use case is provisioned for them. Mm -hmm. And then the entire 
space on top of that in terms of monetization is, is the ability to self-service these use cases mm. through a marketplace like experience that an operator can offer to them or they can come to the AWS marketplace and select applications that they want to deploy on top of a network uh, such as the one that we have worked together with, with our Alliance team to deploy. And that is where we are uniquely again positioned to offer that frictionless B2B as well as consumer experience use cases that we are demonstrating here at MWC, whether it is home use cases for home security, surveillance, things like lifestyle and convenience, and uh, across fixed and fixed wireless access uh, networks that can be can be done. So it's super critical that you know there's two aspects of this. The one having different uh, API exposure mm -hmm. into the application space that is deployed on top of the cloud, and then a frictionless buying experience for B2B as well as B2B2C and B2B2X uh, use cases. Perfect, so you've got technology that is proven, you've got the opportunity to monetize. Sounds like the perfect recipe for telecom operators to, to consume. So, actionable next steps. If an operator wanted to, to make use of this technology that's coming out of this partnership, what would you advise? I think the first step is to understand what goals are we uh, setting out to achieve as an operator. He, uh, we spoke about monetization, we spoke about you know, FWA being one of the tools. So I think software, processes and people, mm. all three combined in a platform model is what an operator should expect. So that we focus on the customer problems and monetization becomes a kind of a natural corollary out of it. Mm. So that is our mindset as we go towards operators. Fantastic. Robin, anything you'd like to add? To I'd, I'd plus one to that and say that we should definitely look at speed is of essence in mm -hmm. this in this uh, world. I would definitely challenge the customer to look at testing the hypothesis, fail fast on, on the business case ideas that they are looking at in terms of applications and really anchor in terms of leveraging the benefit of cloud as well as the benefit of the platform from Alliance team to make sure that they get the velocity they need in, without having to, to shell out a whole bunch of capex to, to get the rollout plan. Yeah. Fantastic. So there you have it, folks. Um, two innovators coming together to build a platform that enables um, telecom operators across the world to benefit from the real world tested platforms that Geo uh, Platforms has developed, deployed in India at immense scale, and expanding to the world, leveraging AWS's uh, partnership as well as global infrastructure. We're looking forward to celebrating um, this innovation across the world. So again, thank you Ayush, thank you Robin. This has been a great session and we're looking forward to seeing this uh, partnership scale across the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.